right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what I wanted to do was get a whole bunch of trees chopped down. We have uh, more houses to build. We have like a bunch of houses. And I really like the dynamic paths that the game implemented not too long ago. Uh, it just gives more life with the actual settlements and stuff because then you don't actually need to put paths down. It actually blends it in really nicely with where the settlers constantly walk and stuff so um yeah so some of the things that we need is a lot of wood in order to build a lot of stuff and st to get these situated uh some of these things uh i wanted to get set up were um basically shelves that we recently unlocked for sapling so birch we'll have over here uh, we can name these shelves as well say this one is birch uh this one can be oak and uh, then we have a few other ones now this will allow us to store saplings long term and we don't need to worry about things getting uh harmed like from due to weather and stuff so maple and then we'll chop this one down or set up pine as well so we need a pine one and we have room for a couple extra saplings later on um different variants uh we can have um apples at the end there uh we should probably set up one for seeds as well um maybe on the other side but at the moment i think he's chopping down some trees uh looks like oh yeah those ones so the ones that we're trying to grow between that one looks like it needs to be chopped down too and that one as well sometimes they grow uh, off of trees the new saplings grow around uh, most likely these ones have done that so we'll chop these down as well and pretty much any other sa sapling that's growing we can chop down don't really need all of these uh, that one's still growing just tell them to chop these down. I know that we won't get a lot of wood from these just yet, but um, it will help with having to clean it up later, I guess. Alright, and that one still growing. We might as well wait for the larger trees to finish growing in their stages and stuff. So we can harvest that up. Harvest that that oh no actually that one
Alright guys, so we got uh, just about that house uh, finished, so we can start setting that up for people, uh, or at least somebody to move in. So we need um, one of these, we'll set that up over here, and we're going to need a torch, a, a standing torch over on that side. I think that's how we situated it on the other one, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the bed at the back here. So I think what we did last time was have the head by the light. So we'll do that same thing over here. That's going to cost like 40 wood. Ouch. Uh, we should have enough wood that's just laying around. It just needs to be collected. We'll see if we can't get some of these settlers um, to move some of this stuff around. Uh, storage. I don't know why they're bringing it there. Okay, so that can go there. Uh, we'll see if we can't stock up on some of the other stuff. There's plenty of wood to go around, so that won't be an issue. It's just a matter of hauling it all. A little bit too much for a lot of... Oh, uh, these trees are... It looks like they're ready to harvest too, so we can get that at least situated. Okay, so he's putting that in there. Um, let's see where else is there some wood over here. Tell him to harvest that up. Or grab it. There's actually a lot of wood over here. Should be able to get quite a bit of it in one trip. And he's going ahead and doing that. Wait, where did... Did you put it in the pile already? Yeah, I guess he put it in the pile already. Okay, we'll tell him to go ahead and grab the rest of it. Just try to get some of these um, wood in sheltered areas so they don't, like, spoil from the being chopped down and stuff, so. Uh, we should probably move the saplings as, t as well, actually. I know he's our builder, but there's not a lot of other people that we... Oh, wait, are you... You're hauling, so why don't we get you to haul stuff around here instead? Like, um, let's see here. We can leave the builder to do his thing at that point, so we'll tell her to haul these. And some more wood over here that can be moved. Just have to keep an eye on her. Okay, so there we go, move that.
All right, so I'm starting to wonder where we should build the next house. Uh, I was thinking about having over here where the farm should go. So somewhere over here, uh, more dedicated for farming and stuff, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that. I might wanna put some houses in here. I might even be able to squeeze one more house right in this little area right here, but I don't know if that will align perfectly with the the door, probably not. So, um, cause this path right here, it goes directly to that building, right? And I think I'll turn that into the kitchen eventually. And uh, that means we need a barn somewhere for our cattle. And I'm going to just kind of figure out something for over here. I'm not sure what I want to do over here, but, um, I'm pretty sure the sun I'm not sure where the sun rises or sets, but um, depending on that, we might put the farm over here or we might put it over a little bit out of the way, somewhere over in this general area. But I'm not sure how that's going to, where we're going to basically put it. We have to pay kind of attention where the sun rises and stuff. Um, there's not really an easy way to do that because you don't really like if you zoom out it goes directly down if you zoom in it's kind of on an angle but you have to pay attention to where the shadows are going like the moon is facing over that way at the moment so it's uh, projecting a shadow this way so I'm not sure what time it's 22 right so almost midnight so it's quite possible the, the the sun is going to be rising that way as well. But we'll have to pay attention in the morning. I don't know why he's not sleeping. He's just deciding to chop down a bunch of trees, even though that he's exhausted. Oh, both of these people are exhausted. <laughs> oh, they're still collecting stuff. Hard workers, that's for sure. All right, so who is that? That is Evan. North decided to go there. I don't know why he's not sleeping in his own bed. Should be in his own bed. Uh, you know what? Let's destroy those. Oh, actually, we don't need to destroy them. We can uh, pick them up. Remove those. Oh, actually, we need one, don't we? Just so everyone has a uh, designated bed. I don't know where she's going. She's delivering something, I think. Yeah, delivering the, um, what do you call it? Great. So I ended up uh, telling them to build this um, 
basic uh, defense system. So basically what we'll be able to do is we'll have some defense along these, um, I don't know, um, Mer Merlin? I think that's how it's pronounced, Merlin? Mar, 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 I don't know. Um, but uh, basically it's like a defensive thing. It gives a little bit of uh, protection uh, against uh, arrows and other uh, attacks. So we'll be able to put our NPCs with bows up on these parts. And there's an, a higher level as well. Uh, just so they have uh, extra range if they need it. So uh, that way when they come up here we'll basically be able to see everyone in this particular area. Now because this is at a lower level that will actually be better for these parts up here because they'll be able to pretty much snipe anyone that's down there unless they're right up against the uh, cliffside. So the other thing that I started working on was the farms over here. Uh, there's going to be, I, I did calculate where the sunlight's coming from and in the morning it comes from this particular angle like just about this direction so it's like 10 a.m right now so it, it kind of goes around like this so i think this would be probably the best area for the farms uh to set them up along this particular stretch right here um outside of that we'll come put a house over here but i want to get that defense we did have another raid that happened so i don't know where the dog's going i think he's going to collect some stuff over here but um yeah so one of the things that I did realize is we don't have any way to actually defend ourselves or get any particular resources from the, the people that are attacking. So I want to build this next and get something set up. It doesn't have to be too fancy, just enough to get us uh, some security and stuff like that so we can actually have a fighting chance against uh, the archers and stuff. They sent two archers, which was kind of unfair because we had... Um, only one archer and everyone else has melee weapons, but you know, it is what it is. Art of War, right? So anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.